okay. I'm almost there. Okay. Whoa, the school's bigger than I remember it being. Try not to crash, please, Angel. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm world high. My first day of school. Oh, high school. Oh, oh no. I have no clue where my locker or my class is um from the tour i know there are classrooms down here let's see um uh spanish uh what's my first class um u.s history okay um that's math no 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 um oh god i'm gonna get lost and there are two other buildings what if one of them is in the other buildings um, uh, uh, I'm just gonna stick with the main building for now and hope on my life that it's in here. Um, let's see. Um, I know my locker's upstairs, so I'm gonna have to go upstairs anyways. Um, my locker is somewhere over here. Let's check down this hallway first to make sure there's no classroom. Um, that's just an empty classroom. And... Um, uh, that's, um, well, my next class is there, but not the current one. Uh, I don't think anything else is down there. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't be late. Oh, God, what type of first impression is that? Okay. Um, well, uh, let's see, I think my locker's somewhere over here. Uh, oh, oh, no. Um, uh, anyways, uh, I think it's one of these back lockers, but I, don't, I really don't have time for that. Um, what's this? <gasps> USS three. Yes. <gasps> Just in time. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Um. <laughs> uh. Hey, Joy. Whoa, that was close. You never run that late. What happened? I was up late last night. Reading through the class summaries, reviewing the summer work I finished, and reading through the assignments for this class. Whoa, teaches you not to overwork yourself. Uh, they told us to review the summer assignments. They gave us until Friday to do that, Angel. Fine, I won't do it anymore. I'll just do what they assign. Good, you need sleep and free time. Okay, okay, mom. <laughs> oh, shush, I just care about you, dummy. <laughs> I know, and I would say the same things to you. Hello, students, and welcome to your first day. In this class, we'll be covering exploration and Native Americans, the Constitution, Manifest Destiny, Reconstruction, World War I, World War II, and Modern America. Go ahead and take out your notebook, a pen or pencil, and your U.S. History textbook. Um, okay, notebook, check. Um, my textbook. Oh, U.S. History, okay. So that class kind of felt like it lasted forever. Oh, thanks for waiting outside for me, Joy. So, what class do you have next? Um, oh, uh, Earth Science, what about you? Spanish 1. Well, I guess I'll see you later then. Later. Okay, let's see. Earth science. Sounds familiar. Oh, I think I saw it over here. Um, I think it was, um, let's see. Wasn't it right here? Uh, 9 a.m. Earth science. Uh, 9 a.m. Earth science. Okay, perfect. Whew. Hmm. Miller. I know that's kind of popular last name, so I can't say much, but that looks familiar. Huh. Oh well. <sighs> okay, looks like not everyone has gotten here yet. There's some seats available. I really hope I don't want to sit in the back. Um, is there? Okay, there's one right here. Wait a second. Angel, is that you? Uh, yeah, that's my name. How do you know? Oh, sorry, this probably seems weird. I knew you when you were little. I'm friends with your parents. You probably don't remember me. Wait. <laughs> Uncle Lucas? Yeah, you remember me? Yeah, well, barely. 
I have vague memories of you and Aunt Belle and Charlie and Cassidy? <clears throat> Wait, Cassidy, is that seriously you? The one and only. What are you guys doing in Emerald City? Just moved here from Diamond City. My dad got a job offer at the school and so we moved here. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, oh, um. Well, anyway, let's get started. Welcome to Earth Science. You may be asking, what exactly is Earth Science? Earth Science is the study of the Earth and its neighbors in space. It is an exciting science with interesting and practical applications. Some Earth scientists use their knowledge of the Earth to locate and develop energy and mineral resources. Well, there's the bell. Your homework is just to review the topics we covered today. I know you guys will probably get a good amount of homework from other teachers, and I want your science experience to be a good one and not a stressful one. Well, that was nice of him. Uh, so, what's new, Cassidy? In 10 years? Quite a lot. <laughs> well, I like art and drawing and stuff. I don't know, I'm pretty boring. <laughs> boring? I think art's really cool. Uh, what's your, uh, art style? Oh, uh, it's kinda like anime? I know that's super cringy and... What are you talking about? I love anime. Really? Hey, let's meet up at lunch and talk. You seem really nice. I'd like that, and thanks. You seem nice too. <laughs> okay, well, I wasted enough time already talking to Cassidy, but it was really nice catching up with her. It's been so long. But I'm really worried I'm gonna be late for my next class, because the bell already went off a couple minutes ago, and we only have five minutes to get to our next period. Oh, so I better hurry. Are you okay? Uh, sorry, I was rushing around a corner. Um, I didn't mean to fall or anything. I, I was just around a corner and I didn't see a puddle and I guess I hurried around it too quickly and I lost my footing or something. I slow down. I'll ask you again. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I I'm okay. Thanks to you. I'm glad. You need to be more careful. Good thing I was here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I saw what happened. Are you okay? See you around, Klutz. It should have been you. Earth to Angel, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Who was that guy? I don't know, but he seemed familiar. And why does that answer make sense? Yes, Mr. Levi? Uh, corresponding angles. Huh? Uh, uh, it's him. Correct, since they lie on the same side of the transversal and corresponding positions, aka their corresponding angles, the answer is correct. Okay, is he still there? Okay. Oh god. So weird. Hiding around a corner. Okay, you 
got this. Calm down. There's nothing to be worried about. Whew. I'm just gonna go up and introduce yourself. He doesn't even know your name. It's makes sense. He saved your life and everything. Okay. Uh, uh, hey! Uh, hey! You're the classroom earlier, right? Angel! Uh, uh, my name's Angel. Oh, uh, sorry. Angel. I'm... Angel Atwood, please head to the principal's office. I repeat, Angel Atwood, please head to the principal's office. See you around, sorry. Oh god. The principal's office. Why am I being called up here on my first day of school? Oh my god. Principal Gray, I... Mom? Sweetie! Joy texted me and told me everything. Are you okay? If not, we can sue the school and... No, Mom. <laughs> Don't sue the school, please and thank you. I'm okay. There's no need to worry. I'm fine. Okay. Uh, why am I here? And why is she here? Your mother wanted to make sure you were okay. Her threats to the school weren't the most pleasant, but we understand where she's coming from. We'll be talking with the janitor and making sure he puts caution signs down from here on out. That's probably best. Do you need to come home? No, I, I'm fine, Mom. There's nothing to worry about. I'm great. Someone caught me. I'm safe and sound. Okay, I just wanted to make sure, sweetheart. Call me if you need anything. Will do, Mom. This is such a nice spot. It's beautiful out here. I'm surprised more people don't know about it. I know, right? Charlie always comes here. Loser has no friends. Uh, hey! <laughs> Actually, Cassidy, you just lied to my face because he does have friends. Me! Uh, really? I mean, we're hanging out, aren't we? I feel like that makes us friends. Um, I mean, if you want to be my friend, then obviously I'd be more than happy to be your guys' friends. I told you she was nice. <laughs> Speaking of nice, texted my friend Joy, she's a sweetheart by the way, um, I texted my friend Joy that um, we were out here, she's been my friend since childhood, she actually might know your guys' parents now that I think about it, because your guys' parents met my parents in high school and so did her parents, so I mean, who knows, they might actually be friends, I might go look for her just in case, <gasps> Joy, there you are, speak of the devil, <laughs> sorry, hey guys, I'm Joy, What's up? I'm Cassidy, and this is Charlie. He's my way less charming, but older brother. Nice to meet you, Joy. Uh, I like your flower in your hair. <laughs> Thanks. So, um, can I join you guys? Uh, yeah, totally. Sit down. in the road? I mean, we have the deer crossing signs, but my god, just a full-grown horse? Okay, buddy, I'm gonna leave you alone. I'm assuming you escaped from a nearby farm. Dude, be careful. These roads are rowdy. They're very rowdy. Okay, let's park our bike. There we go. Got all my stuff on me, so... Okay. It's weird to think that my first day of high school is already basically done. All I do is homework. <sighs> wow. How time has flown. It's crazy. <gasps> Dad! Hey! So, how'd your first day of school go, little lady? It went great, spectacular, passed with flying colors. And for the whole falling over the rail part? I'm not 
dead, am I? Fair enough, kid. Me any friends? Uh, funny you ask. Um, so... Uncle Lucas is one of my teachers, actually. Apparently him and Aunt Belle moved here because he got a job offer at the school. And so that means that their children are at my school. And I've actually gotten really close to Cassidy and kind of close to Charlie a little bit. Lucas? Oh, that's awesome. We should plan a dinner soon. I can make my famous homemade chicken fried steak. How come you only make your homemade good food when I am, when, when, when other people are over instead of just for me? What if I just want the homemade food, Dad? Hey, don't give me attitude, little lady. I'm making homemade fish and chips tonight in celebration of your first day. <gasps> Ooh, I love filming fish I can't speak. I love homemade fish and chips, especially yours. Okay, and try to keep it low-key about Lucas and Belle moving here. Your mom's gonna freak out. Low-key, you got it. You don't gotta worry about me, Dad. Finger guns, yeah. Hey, Mom! <laughs> My stomach. Oh, I'm starving. I mean, I ate all my food at dinner, but I barely, barely was able to eat like half of my lunch because I was talking the entire time. I hope they didn't find me annoying because of that. I really just was excited that someone was listening to me. They seem really sweet though, so. Hopefully they want to continue being friends. Uh, I need food. Uh, come on, G. We're gonna journey to. You're busy. Okay, got it. Um, I'm gonna journey to the kitchen to grab some food. I might be able to snag you a treat. Maybe not. Who knows? Everyone's asleep and it's like midnight. So I'm gonna try to be very, very quiet. should be in that room, fast asleep. Okay. Sneak down the stairs. Go down here. The garage light's on, but it's always on at night. They're not in the living room. Not in the kitchen. Okay. Let's grab food from the fridge. <gasps> what are you doing up this late? Mom! Uh, how you doing? What are you doing up this late? You're never up this late at night. Well, I'm working on my new book. Fascinating, how's that going? Good, good. I don't know how I want to write this scene though. The characters need a way to meet through running from the village guards, but the one character wouldn't rebel. Well, do they have someone they would protect? Well, yeah. Maybe they did it to protect them. Maybe the other person that they were protecting rebelled and they took the blow for them. You're right. Wait, that actually works out well. Because later she covers for the same friend. And if it's been a thing she's always done, then it could be a running theme. I know, I'm amazing. Ah, spectacular writing, that's me. So, did you meet any guys at school? Uh, I'm friends with Charlie, but that's about it. I'm mainly friends with girls. I mean like, a crush. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, maybe? Ooh, tell me about him. Oh, I'm so tired. Ooh, I need to get some sleep. Good night, mom. Get some sleep, okay? I don't like talking about crushes and stuff with really anyone. <laughs> I don't want to go back into my room right now. I'm going to go upstairs and maybe sit on the roof for a little bit and look at the stars. We need to get rid of some of this junk. I still have my little, like, tricycle deal from when I was, like, Two, maybe three. Oh, and Mr. Tiggy! Oh, I loved this doll so much when I was little. 
in Totoro. I have another one downstairs, but there's another one that I got when I was young. <sighs> An old video camera? I wonder what's on there. Oh well. Um, anyways, let's go up to the roof. It's a little chilly, but I mean, it feels nice. Be very careful not to slip on the roof. Wouldn't be the first time I've slipped. <sighs> There's just something so relaxing about looking at the stars and knowing there's so many things we just can't see. Like, so many planets and galaxies and, uh, I don't know, aliens? <laughs> it's almost like how I feel when I don't understand and don't know the emotions that are going through my body right now. Like, every time I see him, I get butterflies. A constant want to hang out with him and know more about him? Is that what it crushes? Like an actual crush? Not a, hey, they're cute. Let's have a thing for two days in elementary school. Maybe. <laughs> but he probably wouldn't like me. He's really cute and, well, I'm me. But what do you want? What's your biggest need? Every hour we spend together, and suddenly the chances are small, just like the lottery. able to fully introduce myself. Hi, I'm Dean Levi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Angel Atwood, but <laughs> you already know that. <laughs> yeah, want to hang out sometime? Somewhere you can't fall off any railings? I like that a lot. <laughs> Gentlemen, and everyone in between, welcome to the Freshman versus Senior Volleyball Tournament. So let's keep it quick, concise, and to the point. One round to the death. Well, not actually. Let's begin. just out of bounds. But did the opposing senior team touch the ball before it landed? I definitely did not touch it. Oh, come on, quit lying, we saw you touch it. Hmm, this is a close call, folks. But from where I was standing, it looked like the seniors touched the ball. Freshmen's win. We did it! 
it. I'm so happy. That was so much fun. It's crazy. You guys did awesome. You did awesome too, Kenny. We would not have been able to win without you. Um, if you guys will excuse me, I'll be right back. I need to talk to someone. <laughs> well, uh, three someones. <laughs> Good job, guys. Uh, hey, guys. Thanks so much for coming. Good job, Angel. Thanks, Cassidy. You enjoyed it great. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. You did awesome. I'm glad to see you on as clumsy during volleyball. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Dean here has been talking nonstop about you. I've got to know a lot about him. Really? I'll be right back, guys. <gasps> okay. Well, while he's not here, I'm gonna take his space. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna take his little spot here. So, you and Dean, huh? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean, me and Dean? We've hung out like it's twice. Oh, really? He yes! <laughs> Anyways, I need to get home and shower and everything. I mean, we do have the family dinner with your parents and your younger siblings tonight at my house, so I'll see you later. Oh, right, I forgot. See you later then. Bye, Cassidy. Bye, Charlie. See you later. Uh, I didn't know they were friends. Friends. I don't want to interrupt with them. I wanted to say bye to Dean and Kenny, though. Looks like Joy's gone already. She's... So I'll just head home. They're probably just really close friends and I'm overthinking things. I'm not the jealous type in the slightest. Why am I getting nervous over this? <laughs> if they're not friends, and they're more than friends, well then I guess I'm okay with being just friends with Dean. Even though I really like him. Friends is okay too. Anything's better than nothing. All fresh and clean, my outfit's nice, and my hair could be a little better, but I mean, oh well, it's lion's mane. There's not much I can do with it. Okay, let's see. Last I saw, Dad was cooking and Mom was freaking out. <laughs> Mom! Hey! Ah, I'm so excited to see Lucas and Belle again! It's gonna be so fun! Aren't you excited, sweetie? I mean, I kind of see Lucas every day at school, but I'm excited to see Aunt Belle and the little ones. Ah, they're gonna be here in 30 minutes! Is your room clean? Oh, why does my room have to be clean? Cause guests are coming over! Are we having dinner in my room? Fair enough, just make your bedding just in case. Just in case what? We have dinner in my room? Angel, who knows? Cassidy might want to sleep over or something. <sighs> okay, fair enough. I'll go make my bed. You... Do you. Um, yeah. <sighs> I'm glad to see Mom's not stressed anymore. She was really stressed with books and writing and stuff I don't really understand fully. Because I've never written a book. <laughs> She's gonna have so much fun with Belle tonight. Kamachi! Hello! <laughs> oh, my bed's made, so I'll probably just, I don't know, just relax until they come over? Hmm, I'll 
play my computer. I'm still curious of why Dean and Kenny were so buddy buddy. I mean, they could be old friends. Or maybe they're dating. Anyways, <laughs> get mind off of it. It's gonna be a great night. I'm gonna hang out with Cassidy, hang out with Charlie, hang out with Aunt Belle and Uncle Lucas, and the other little ones. There's so many of them, I honestly don't remember all the names. I think there's Jack, and then there's another one, and I feel so guilty that I don't remember his name. <laughs> wow, Cassidy's like the only girl in her family besides her mom. That must be <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I'm just gonna get my mind off of everything. <laughs> Thanks guys for inviting us over. It's great to see you guys again. <laughs> it's our pleasure. It's so cool that Danielle, Tyler, Izumi, me, Belle, and you are all back in the same city. We'll have to do a dinner with just the adults to talk about the good old days. <laughs> the good old days. I'm starting to sound like an old man. <laughs> so, uh, your name is Angel, right? Yeah? Like from the Bible? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> How old are you two again? Jack's 11, and I'm 7. But I think I'm the more mature one. <laughs> nuh -uh. Proving my point even more. Children, am I right, Angel? <laughs> sure. <laughs> So, Izzy, how's the new book coming along? Great, the final romance scene is so cute. I have to read it. The last one in the series and I know it's such a cliffhanger. <laughs> Glad to see they're getting along. So, did you and Dean talk after the volleyball game? Oh, <laughs> first of all, why would I go out of my way to talk to him? I mean, is hey, we're friends here, but he, we already talked. <laughs> Also, uh, he was kind of busy. Uh, yeah. Busy? With what? Um, <laughs> he was talking with some girl. It's the other freshman on the volleyball team. I think her name's Kenny? Kenny? Huh. Don't worry. I'll figure out if they're dating. Oh! <laughs> I didn't ask you to. Why would you assume I'd want to know that? That's his business, and I uh, i shouldn't be in his business, and I don't need to know that. Why would I need to know that? Because I know you. You like him, and I feel like he likes you. Don't worry. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Thanks, Cassidy. <laughs> I take some of the stress off that situation. So, how's Joy? <laughs> well, I mean, last time we talked was at the volleyball game, so I think... good? <laughs> Why do you ask? Oh, uh, no reason. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Anyway, I'm gonna go grab the food. It should be done about now. Ah, oh, yes, I'm starving! Oh, you always make the best food. Manji. <laughs> Aw, hey little guy. <laughs> Yo, he's a good kitty. You're a good kitty. Angel, your cat is so adorable. <sighs> Gotta love him. <laughs> What's his name again? <laughs> Kamaji. Uh, he's named after the guy who runs the boiler room and it's faded away. <laughs> Oh, cool. I'm more into gory anime, but Studio Ghibli, man, it holds a special place in my heart. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually into, like, romance and a little bit gory, and I've watched, like, every single episode of Naruto and Naruto Shippuden on the face of the earth, but... Anyways... <laughs> I'm currently binge-watching, like, all the Studio Ghibli films, so if you ever want to come over and have a sleepover and just watch, like, Kiki's Delivery Service, then Totoro, and then... Spirited Away and Ponyo and all the classics. We can. <laughs> I'm 
So, um, sorry to change the subject, but do you know Dean's full name? Uh, oh god, I think it's, uh, Levi. Dean Levi? Dean Levi. As in Adam Levi. As in the guy who became a doctor, got bored, then became one of the best known Hollywood directors. Hollywood, what now? Is Dean rich? Uh, I don't know. It's not like I was like, hi, I'm Angel. What's your bank account number? I don't just check on that stuff. You might have some competition now. <laughs> Cassidy! I'm joking. Just when you two start dating, introduce me to his dad. I have a great idea for a movie. <sighs> Will do. I mean, I'm totally not gonna get together with him or anything. We're really good friends. <sighs> Let's just uh, play with my cat. He's cute. Um, come on, G, come here. <laughs> do a trick. Do something. Distract them. Okay, let's go ahead and drive to school. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and there we go. I never know if it's actually okay for me to park here, but I mean, I haven't gotten in trouble yet, so I'm gonna continue doing it until someone tells me to stop. And then be a really bad way to think you're okay with doing things. But I mean, it's not hurting anyone. Okay, let's head upstairs to my first period. I memorized my schedule at this point, so I don't even have to check it. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, yeah. I've gotten better at navigating the school too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how was the dinner last night? Uh, really, really fun. Um, uh, actually, my parents are talking about how they kind of want to invite over your parents and have like an adult like get together little dinner thing to like talk about the quote unquote good old days. <laughs> I swear, my dad keeps keeps fitting even more dad stereotypes. <laughs> oh, cool. I feel like they'd really like that. And actually, I was thinking that maybe you, me, and Cassidy could all have a sleepover. If you'd want to. <laughs> really? That'd be awesome. <laughs> cool. Okay, then, um, we'll have to plan it. <laughs> and there. <sighs> all the books I don't need away because I don't have time to put them away before first period starts and if I did them before first period starts then I would just be late for all my classes because there's no way I'm getting up earlier than 7 30 for my classes because thank god it's a really short drive if it was a longer drive I'd have to wake up at like seven and I had to wake up at six for school last year and that was a complete nightmare because I had to stay up late for homework and ugh, it was dreadful um, my next class, I believe, is science, right, with Lucas. Nice, cool. Mr. Lucas, aka Mr. Milieu, but I mean, I just call him <laughs> Uncle Lucas, because I mean, what's the point in calling him anything else? That's what I call him, and he hasn't corrected me, so I guess I'm just going to continue to call him that. I do want to grab a soda, though. Um, let's see, I want a slime soda. Hello? Is this thing broken? Um, I, I put in the money, boop, and then slime soda. Did you just eat my money? What? Give me my soda! Ugh! I will be back. And I will retrieve my soda. <laughs> How rude. Fine, I guess I'll just go to class. I probably would have gotten in trouble anyways, but thank God I'm cool with the teachers, so I probably wouldn't have gotten in too much trouble if I had a soda in class. <gasps> uh, hey, Levi! Uh, hey, <laughs> w 
we didn't get to talk again after the volleyball game. Uh, I was wondering if you wanted to hang out sometime? You know, uh, uh, as friends. <laughs> uh, um, totally. <laughs> Wanna grab dinner tonight? Uh, yeah, <laughs> sure. Cool. <laughs> See you then. I'll pick you up around six. Sounds good. I, I gotta hurry to my class. Sounds good. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> Am I going on a date tonight? No, he purposefully said it was just friends. I need to tell Cassidy. Cassidy! Cassidy! I'm sorry. <clears throat> Cassidy. What? What happened? Who do I need to fight? Wait. You're happy. Who do I need to thank? Um, <laughs> Dean and I, maybe? Wait, like a date? No, we're just grabbing dinner tonight as friends, but you pals, you know? It's totally platonic. Completely. 100%. But I'm still really nervous and I don't know what to wear. Outfits really aren't my expertise. You should ask Joy. Uh, will do. <laughs> Excited about something, Angel? Sorry if I disrupted class a little bit, but I mean, the bell hasn't gone off yet, right? So, I'm, I'm sorry if I kind of crashed into class a little loud. <laughs> well then, let's t get started, class. Okay, okay, Uncle Lucas. I'm being silently judged by your father. <laughs> Joy, I don't know what to do. What do I wear? What do I act like? What do I say? I don't know what to do in these types of situations. I've never been in one of these types of situations. <sighs> okay. First step, what to wear? I could wear my normal clothes, uh, which is like casual but cute, you know? Maybe wear my normal clothes but with wedges instead of my normal little slip-ons. Um, I could possibly, um, I could wear a skirt instead. Is that too, like, frilly though? Like, a little too girly? I don't, I don't know. I don't want to pretend to be someone else. I'm not. But I mean, I do like skirts. Should I wear a dress? Should I wear jewelry? Should I... I don't know what to do. Breathe. Calm down. Oh, you're right. Whew. I'm breathing. I'm breathing. Now. Did he explicitly say it was a date? No. He actually pointed out the fact that we're just friends. Then don't worry about it. Dress in what makes you comfortable. I'm assuming it'll be casual and you'll want to be able to just enjoy your time. Okay, you're, you're right, you're right. And as for makeup, should I just wear my normal makeup, which is like concealer, lip gloss, uh, a little bit of blush and mascara, and sometimes a little bit of bronzer if it's like summer. Just in case, do matte liquid lipstick. Just in case... <laughs> what? You don't know. You might end up having your first kiss by the end of the night. First... <laughs> kiss? <laughs> I can't breathe. The oxygen has been taken from my lungs. You seriously think that's gonna happen? I'm gonna get my... I'm gonna have my first kiss. Breathe. You start doing your makeup and I'll go grab you some water. Thank you. No problem. What are friends for? Okay. Starting my makeup. I can do that. Come on, G. You're a... You're a guy, kind of. You're a cat, but you're a guy. Uh, how do you know if it's a date or not? That doesn't answer my question. Neither does that. Okay. I'm so confused. Is it a date? Is it not a date? Is it just hanging out like we already have? Is it... Is it something more? 
Why do things have to be so confusing all the time? <sighs> okay. It's... <sighs> I'm really bad at reading military time. Why do I have a clock in military time? Let's see. Um, so 12 would be... And then uh, 13 would be 1... 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, it's 5.18. He said he'd pick me up at 6. So I have plenty of time to do my makeup, drink some water, calm down, and make sure my outfit looks nice. And to debate with myself if this is even a date or not. Kamachi. You stay here. I'm gonna go down to the bathroom and do my makeup. Stay here. I'll be back. Okay, let's see. Is Joy down here? She might have gone outside to talk to my mom. I'm pretty sure my mom's on the back porch. She's probably out there with her. Every time that Joy's over, she always ends up talking with my mom for a little bit. So, makes sense. Okay. Let's start doing my makeup. here. Thank you so much for helping me out, Joy. I'll see you later. Okay. Uh, uh, hey. You ready? Uh, sure. Sorry it's last minute, but Kenny's having the third wheel. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, I'll be out of your hair so soon. I just need to get the text. The, the text? She's waiting on a text from her friends to hang out. I, I see. There should be a party later tonight, but they're still debating if they want to go. <laughs> yeah. Ready to head out? Yeah. Let's, let's head out. How are you guys liking being on the volleyball team? It's fun. I'm new to playing though, so I'm not very confident in my skills. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of fun. I actually used to play during middle school. Every summer I would do the camp at Emerald High. Um, and now I'm on the team. Oh, you're really good. Do you like volleyball? Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, it can be kind of stressful at times, but sometimes it can be a real stress relief. Um, kind of getting out any access energy, you know? So besides volleyball, what do you do in your free time? Oh, uh, I um, play video games and I'm in anime and I, uh, I'm kind of boring, I guess. <laughs> Cool, we should play video games together sometime soon. Really? I really like that. Yeah. Thanks again for letting me third wheel. I promise I'll be out of your hair soon. It's okay, we're just three friends just hanging out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally. Wait, my phone just buzzed. She takes out her phone. Yes, just got the text. It was nice talking, Angel. Nice talking to you too. I hope you have fun. Dinner was great. <laughs> it's a great place. Thanks for recommending it for the... Thanks, well, thanks for taking me here <laughs> for our little get together. Quick, 
Rapid fire questions. Favorite color? Red. Favorite movie? Spaded away. Favorite hobby? Video games. Favorite video game? I don't know if I can pick one. Um, I am in love with the Uncharted franchise. I actually used to have a really big crush on Sam Drake as a teen from Uncharted 4. Um, but if I had to pick one and not a whole franchise, um, I'd probably say for casual, just like when I don't have anything better to do gaming. Uh, Sims 4, I really like building houses and making cute little families in. Um, but for more intense gameplay and more enticing gameplay um, that I don't have to come up with the story myself, I'd probably say I kind of dabble between a couple different just indie games. I like playing story-based games a lot. Um, ooh, I know. Firewatch. Love Firewatch. Uh, console or PC? PS4. But I like PC and Xbox too. Now, your favorite color? <laughs> Probably yellow. Um, I like yellow, orange, red. Kind of the whole fall aesthetic. Ooh! Favorite season? Fall as well. Favorite holiday? Halloween. <laughs> that or Christmas. Um, favorite thing about me? Uh, is everything too sly? <laughs> A little bit. Well then, emotionally, the way you have open arms to everyone, and physically, your eyes. Uh, favorite thing about me? Uh, is everything too sly? <laughs> no, seriously. Emotionally, how caring you are. Physically, your cute little smirk. <laughs> Can I show you something? Yeah. Follow me. Uh, are you sure about this? This is pretty tall. Don't worry, I'm right here. If you start to fall, I'll just catch you again. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, are you and Kenny dating? What? Uh, no! <laughs> Why would... Oh. She's my sister. You didn't know she's my sister. No, I... I didn't. That makes a lot more sense. Wow, you probably think I'm an idiot. No, if anyone's an idiot, it's me. I should have put two and two together. I never said it, so why would you know? Fair enough. <laughs> but don't be hard on yourself. Sorry for the confusion. My parents are out of town and my sister had gotten into trouble, so they told her she couldn't go anywhere without me or family friend family friend is the one that texted her. That makes so much more sense. I thought you brought me along the third wheel with your girlfriend. To be friendly or something. Sorry. It's okay. You didn't mean to have it seem that way. I should have been up front and asked from the beginning. So then I walked into my house and she was there. Kenny was there? Yeah, but turns out they're siblings. It's his sister and she had gotten in trouble and she wasn't allowed to leave the house without him and she was waiting for a text from a family friend to be able to go to a party. So, yeah. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. What do you mean, Charlie? Are you positive he isn't lying about that? I mean, I'm pretty positive. 
Hmm. What's up? I don't know much about relationships, but I'd just be careful. You're really sweet and I don't want a random guy to take advantage of that, you know? I appreciate the concern, Charlie. You're really sweet. I'll be careful. Well then, I mean, if it's his sister, that makes much more sense. And he didn't say it was a date. Exactly, it could have been just the three of us hanging out, you know? And I would have just left it there at, it was just the three of us hanging out. But then at the end of the night, he called me cutie. <laughs> he called you cutie? Oh, he likes you. Ah, who's sure about that? I mean, he might be lying. I trust him. From what he has said about you to me, his intentions seem very sweet. Thanks, Cassie. Thanks, Charlie. Well, we should probably get to class. <gasps> Dean! Hi. Um. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey. How long have you been standing there? Just walked up. Why? Uh, no reason. Um. What's up? Well. I was wondering if I could walk with you to U.S. Literature. I love that. <laughs> Thanks, guys, um, for the talk. I'll see you guys later. Go have fun, girly. Be safe. Will do, and will do. Let's go. It feels nice to be outside. The weather's so nice outside right now. The cold front just came in, so it finally feels a little bit like it's starting to get, like, fall. Anyways, I should head home. Let's go ahead and drive on home. One thing I really like about living in Emerald City and going to Emerald High, rather than one of the private schools that's more on the outskirts of town, is that it is such a quick drive from the townhouse to the school, which is really nice. Because of this weather, it kind of makes me want to chill in the side yard. Um, oh, it's been so long since I've been out here. It's been so humid that it hasn't even been enjoyable. I kind of want to lay out here later. I'm going to get some of my schoolwork done, my homework finished, and then I might come out here and kind of just relax. Um, I might do my homework outside. Oh, that sounds really nice. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I'm home. Oh, oh, looks like Mom's outside. Hey, Mom. Hey, sweetie. How was school? Uh, really good, really good. <sighs> it's so nice outside right now. Fall just around the corner, cold front starting to come in. Your father and I were thinking of planning a camping trip this weekend. Does that sound good? It sounds great. I would love to. I was actually just taking in the amazing, like, cold front that just came in <laughs> Whoa, when I left school. That sounds really nice. Awesome. I'll talk to your dad more about it tonight. Oh, and I ordered you pizza for dinner. Your dad and I are going on a triple date with Tyler Danielle Bellalinkus. That sounds like it's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope you two have a great time. Thanks, Angel. <laughs> it's nice that they're all getting along again. I know there's some other friends in my mom's old friend group that still aren't, like, here. There's apparently more friends that aren't here in Emerald City, and I get that everyone can't move back to where kind of they grew up, because they grew up in Diamond City, which is like 30, 45 minutes away from here. <sighs> Kamaji, why are you always here? Why are you always pooping? That's... oh god. Do your business. <sighs> Stayed late for volleyball practice, and I was able to change before I head home, which was nice. Now I'm just gonna finish all the online assignments I have, and then I'm gonna do any book work I have written down. Kamaji, do you know how to 
Do you know how to solve algebraic expressions? No? Okay. Let's get started. I'm gonna start watching another Studio Ghibli film. I'm all cozied up. I just need to take a shower and go to bed after this. Kamaji, how you doing? <laughs> Good to know. I think Kiki is delivery service for today. I don't know if it's just intrusive thoughts and like second guessing myself and my anxiety talking, but I'm not sure if Dean actually likes me. I know I had the whole conversation with them earlier, Charlie and Cassidy, but I genuinely don't know if they're just trying to spare my feelings. I mean, Charlie straight up said that he didn't know if Dean was a good guy, and that could just be him trying to cover up the fact that Dean doesn't give a crap about me. But Dean's really sweet. I mean, I'm fine with being just friends. Worst possibility, that's what it ends up being. And that seems like a really good worst possibility to me. Let's watch Kiki's Delivery Service, Kamaji. Once you are done pooping for the 17th millionth time today. Oh my god. <laughs> Why does high school have to be so conflicting? So good than bad. Okay, Maggie, let's do one more round of drills before we actually start to do a mini round with the seniors again, because I have a creeping suspicion they're going to beat us again. <sighs> is that Cassidy? What is she doing here? Um, uh, I'll be right back. Uh, you guys keep practicing doing drills. Um, excuse me? Uh, Cassidy? Uh, hey! Hey! What's up? Hey, uh, can we talk? Uh, yeah, totally. Uh, are you okay? Um, can we go somewhere more private? Of course, there's a empty classroom nearby, I'm pretty sure, if you want to go in there. Okay, lead the way. Okay, follow me. I wonder what she's gonna talk to me about. I hope she's okay. What's up, Cassidy? I've known this for a while, but I've been avoiding telling anyone about it. What's up? I I'm bisexual. That's awesome. Why are you scared to tell me that? Really? You think so? Of course. Your sexuality doesn't mean a thing to me. I'm happy for you, especially happy that you felt open enough to tell me. That's good to know. I want to tell my parents and I don't know how they'll react. I'm sure they'll react fine. They seem like very sweet people. Very open-minded people. Yeah. We've never really talked about sexuality, though, so... I'm scared. Cassidy... There's nothing to be worried about. Do you want me to come over when you're telling them? Yeah. Thanks, Angel. No problem. Do you want me to come over tonight, or do you want to wait till tomorrow? No, thank you so much, though. Okay, I'll come tonight, and we'll... You can talk to them while I'm there. And if you want, we can go, and we can hang out, and cool off, and go grab some ice cream or donuts or something afterwards. 
to get your head clear. Okay, thank you. Of course, Cassidy. Okay, I think I'm done with almost all my online assignments. I have a couple left and then I can play Sims till I go over to Cassidy's house. Hey, Angel, can you come here? Uh, uh, yes, what's up? Okay, so we've been talking about the camping trip and we're going, it's official. Awesome, it's gonna be so much fun. And we wanted to let you know that you can bring a friend if you want to. Cool. I'll decide who I want to bring soon. Now, you said you were headed over to Cassidy's tonight. Yes. Well, when you're headed home, can you run by the store and grab supplies for s'mores? Of course. <laughs> s'mores are delicious. Okay, I'll leave you some cash on the counter. Awesome. Well, anyways, I need to get back to my school. Okay, sweetie. That's awesome. Thanks for letting me know. I'm so excited to go camping. I haven't gone camping in years. And my family does camping kind of to an extreme. And my dad kind of runs a tight ship when it comes to when we wake up. I wonder who I'm gonna bring. Hmm. Wait. Could I bring Dean? No, my parents wouldn't let me bring a boy. No way. <laughs> <laughs> no, they wouldn't. Anyways, I probably should start heading over to um, Cassidy's. I did wait for cash, though. I'm gonna take a quick shower before heading over to Cassidy's, so I'm all fresh and clean. Um, boop. Uh, I'm gonna start the water, wait till it heats up. I'm gonna take off my makeup. I'm really proud of Cassidy. Talking to her parents and telling them about everything tonight. I'm glad I could be there for her. Okay, let's take a shower. Such a nice day out today. Wish I could enjoy the weather without being stressed though. It's not bad stress, it's just stress about who I'm gonna invite to the camping trip. Thankfully, the biggest issue, aka Cassidy and her parents, all went really well last night. And thankfully, I mean, there was no problem with her coming out as bisexual and liking girls and guys. Her mom was actually surprisingly supportive, like overly supportive. I found it really sweet. <laughs> but that still leaves the question, who am I gonna invite to the camping trip? Cassidy, cause it might be nice for her to, you know, get some relaxation in by camping. Or I could do uh, Joy, obviously. Um, I bet she'd like camping. We, we have gone on camping trips together. It's always been a lot of fun. Or I could try and ask if Dean could come. There's no way my dad would say yes to that though. He's way too protective. Unless I can somehow convince my parents by the fact that it's a straight guy, as far as I know. And they probably would have let Cassidy come and Cassidy's by. As long as I would obviously run it by Cassidy to make sure that point was okay with her. I don't want to out her to anyone that, you know, she doesn't want to be outed to right now. 
know it could be very fragile. It's nothing you want to, you know, you don't want to risk someone feeling vulnerable in a situation. So I would ask Cassidy first, of course, but I could use that comparison as, so you'd let a bi girl sleep in the same tent as me, but not a straight guy? That's a little, I don't know. That just seems a little like, mm, not gonna lie. I wouldn't want to manipulate them though. I probably won't do that. <laughs> I'll probably just invite Joy or Cassidy. I don't know though. I'll figure it out. Uh, at least it's a pretty day. What are, can someone see my window from the street? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, no. Thank goodness. Uh, hey, Aunt Danielle, what's up? Hey, Angel. How you? How are you? Good. Plenty to trip for this weekend. Tyler has off for work for the first time in a while, so we're going out of town on a little vacation. Oh, nice. Um, is Joy coming with you? Joy's coming too. As long as she gets her essay for British literature finished before. I see. Um, well, I'll let you get back to what you're doing. Um, have a nice night. Okay, Angel. It was nice talking to you. Have a good night. So, Joy's off the table. Kind of eliminates more of my stress, but now I'm really between Cassidy and Dean. On one hand, I could invite Cassidy because I feel like she could use the break from everything. Hello, Kamaji. You're not supposed to climb on the lamps, Kamaji. That's supposed to be off limits. Meow. Why do, why do I even bother? Um, <laughs> I could invite Cassidy to let her have a little bit of a stress relief. Or I could invite Dean to try to get closer. I don't know. I'll figure it out. For now, I'm just gonna work on my homework and stuff for tomorrow. <sighs> Look out, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be I hope that I'm not showing how I feel for her, but she won't feel the same for me. I've got this picture in my mind, it's just the two of us, just the two of us, but I know I'll have to try, try to let her go, because she won't I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me Oh, this don't look so yummy <laughs> What's wrong? Your eyes are beautiful In the sun they sparkle even more Uh, anyways, uh, let's eat while we walk to school. <laughs> okay. Your eyes are... They're, they're, very, they're very pretty, too. <laughs> let's go to school. Race ya! <laughs> I'm late. Come on, come on! Mm, yes! I defeated the final boss. Come on, G, are you proud of me? Uh, Kamaji, are you proud of me? Are, are you proud of me? Meow. I'll take that as a absolutely. Thank you. 
I'll get it. Who? Cassidy, hey. Hey, I wanted to thank you again. It's uh, for the whole coming over and helping you. N no problem. My parents responded so well that they said if I was ready, we could go and do a family dinner tomorrow night to tell my extended family. That's awesome! I'm so happy for you! Are you- do you feel ready? Yeah, actually. That's awesome, Cassidy. Yeah, I'm really excited. Thanks for being so supportive. It's no problem, Cassidy. Anyways, I should head home. See you later. See ya. Wait. So if she can't go on the camping trip, and Joy can't go on the camping trip, then that only leaves one candidate. Besides Charlie. Sorry, Charlie, but if I'm gonna try to convince a guy to be able to come on the camping trip, it's going to be... It's gonna be Dana. Um, hey, um, Mom. Mom, Dad, um, I'm sorry to, um, break up your, you know, uh, conversation here. Um, excuse me. Uh, could a boy be my friend that I invite on the camping trip? Uh, sure. Chris? Uh, as long as I can actually meet this boy, I... Thank you, thank you, sounds great. Um, 10 out of 10 answer, um, loved it, um, thank you. And I'll be right back, I need to go ask... That boy. Don't worry, you'll meet him, Dad. Okay. Be right back. Okay. Okay. I gotta hurry. If I get there too late, he might not have enough time to be able to ask his parents, and they might say it's too last minute and that he can't come. Okay, um, his address. I remember him saying it was the first on in the hills. Um, is it that big place? I thought that was a bookstore uh, uh, I guess we'll check just in case I'll park right here uh, let me make sure I'm you know not sideways thank goodness there are no cars coming because it's so late okay. uh stay here moped um and don't get stolen okay this is a bookstore Hello, welcome to Mug of Knowledge Book and Coffee Shop. We're about to close in a little bit, but in the meantime, how may I help you? I'm here to see Dean. Oh, uh, head on upstairs. Hey. Y yeah? You look familiar. Have I seen you somewhere before? I don't think so. I'm friends with Dean. Hmm. Well then, sorry. Uh, head on upstairs when you want to. Uh, this place seems really cool. Thank you. Are you Dean's mom? Yes, are you the girl Dean's been talking about? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. I'm gonna go say hi to Dean. Thank you. This place is so cool. I want to come here so much more often. Um, I don't know where his room is. So we're just gonna knock on some doors. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Dean! Hey! Uh, Angel! What are you doing in my room? <laughs> Can you come on a camping trip with me this weekend? Oh, uh, totally. Really? Awesome. I'll go then. Wait, what's up? Wanna stay and hang out? Maybe play video games? I'd love that. As long as we get to play a game that I can beat your butt at. <laughs> Yeah, they're 
so excited to go camping. Sorry if that was a little loud. <laughs> okay, kids, we're almost there. Now, when we get there, we'll set up the campsite, and then you guys can explore with parental supervision. Dad. Chris, try to remember when we were their age. They can go explore by themselves. They're 15. Ugh, fine. You guys can go off and explore. Just don't go too far off. Okay, everything is set up. Awesome, everything looks great. Got our sleeping bags out so that we can play under the stars for a while after we make some s'mores and eat dinner and everything, and then we can just move them into tents. I'm not the biggest fan that me and Dean have to sleep in de separate tents, but I completely understand why. <sighs> We're gonna go near the water. Feel free to join us if you'd like, or go wherever, just be home before sundown. Well, I'm assuming you mean back to the campsite. <laughs> well, this is our home, I guess, technically for the next couple of nights. Two nights? I think we're staying here. One night, two nights, something like that. <sighs> what do you want to do, Dean? Uh, I I'm good with whatever you want to do. But I'm good with whatever you want to do. Uh, we could go with them and then explore near the campsite. Could explore near the campsite, then maybe go down some hiking trails. We could just run off and do whatever. We can go join them for a bit, then explore on the campsite if you like. Sure, that sounds perfect. Does sound good with you guys? Sure, sweetie. Okay, let's go. so pretty out and the weather is so nice it's not a freaking hundred degrees every day anymore <sighs> my mom would love this oh really i'm assuming she's a fan of like naturey type things your mom's name is uh zeroki right that's what her name tag said y yeah <laughs> wait what's her name Zeroki. Is your dad's name Adam? Yeah. H how'd you? What? What's going on? We went to high school with them. Do you go to high school with all my friends' parents? Aw, I miss them. I'm gonna have to invite them over soon. I I'm sure they'd love it. <laughs> Did you just know all my friends' parents? Got it. <laughs> I mean, that is cool, though, that you guys knew each other in high school. Just like a love song, baby, it's haunting me Don't know what you're thinking It's like I'm sinking deep underwater Maybe it's harder, harder, harder for me Oh, harder for me Maybe we're over it Or maybe just lovers Cause under the covers, baby, you're showing me How to be fearless so no one can hear us You're throwing the pillars through the floor now put your loving, loving, loving on me, eh, hey, loving on me. Maybe you won't see me get emotional, and sometimes I pretend I'm just above it all. But I want you lying next to me, yeah, I want your body, body, body too, yeah, body too. Just sometimes I get scared to die 
dive into it I want you lying next to me Yeah, I want your body, body, your body too Yeah, body too morning out. The sunrise rising above the mountains and we grabbed your guitar and we're gonna go on the hiking trails and that way we can just hang out on the hiking trails and do whatever and find a cool spot. Sounds good. We'll hike around, find a nice spot, and hang out and I can play guitar. Sounds perfect. Let's go. Um, I'll lead the way till we get to a point where we kind of have to go wherever we want to. <laughs> so nice out. There's just a nice cool breeze. The sun's out and it's just really pretty. I really want to get out more often. <sighs> that's a little hill. Okay, um, looks like we have to cross a little river. Um, I'll cross it and make sure that there's a way that we can get around the little mountain, the little hill. Um, you can stay here if you want. Okay, uh, be careful. Um, looks like there are really slippery rocks down below. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Let me help you. Okay. Okay. Thank you for your help. <laughs> it's very nice of you. Um, let's head around the side of the hill. Okay, let's head around the hill and see if there's a path. Okay. If you need help, just let me know. I know you have a guitar as well. Okay. Um. Well, I mean, regardless if there's a path, it's really pretty over here. We're near the water. It's so pretty. We could head to the little island over there. Uh, right here? Yeah, we could. Um, we just have to get across the water. I think we can make this jump over here, though. Um, I'll try. If I can, I know you definitely can. Um, where's the possibility I get my shoes wet? <laughs> okay, I just got my shoes wet. You can head on over here. Okay. Oh, you made it over. Nice. Um... Let's go ahead and we can head over further back on this island. Ooh, there's a cave. I don't want to fall down there. Be careful, Dean. Um, oh, this is so pretty. We might find like the perfect spot to watch the sunset. I, we thought we found the perfect spot on the other side of the parking lot yesterday, but I think we might have found an even better spot today. Oh, it overviews the ocean. At least I think this is an ocean. It might be a really big lake. I don't know. This is really pretty, though. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's starting to rain. We're too far from the campsite to run home. We're gonna get soaked. Quick, get under a tree. Looks like we have some time to kill. What are you gonna do? They were in high school when they met And things got kinda awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool but it was obvious, like, ooh, they would be together, ooh. And one day she said, write me a love song, cause I know you'll make it beautiful. And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart. Promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He 
looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper And started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like ooh Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song And I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight As they kept on dancing Mm -mm -mm. And now they're singing their love song And they sing it kind of beautiful Calling each other sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way Or steal the show They're in love now And I wanted you to know Anyways, uh, we should get back. It stopped raining. Oh, yeah. We should get back. It would be together. Then one day she said, Write me a love song. Cause I know you'll make it beautiful. Maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper And started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Something cliche like ooh, baby, I only want you. <laughs> Above all else, though, it was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, sorry, this has been in my mind for a while. Um, kind of off topic completely, but what was that song? about earlier huh? in the rain um when we got caught in the rain and we had to kill some time and you started playing guitar and singing did that song mean anything uh what are you talking about <laughs> sorry if i'm over analyzing um anyways <laughs> uh you ready to watch the movie now sure thanks by the way Thanks for what? Thanks for inviting me on the campaign trip. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I had a lot of fun. It's nice to get close. <laughs> anyway, uh, can you pull up the movie? I'm gonna go grab some snacks. Sure, sounds good. They're in love now, and I wanted you to know. You fell asleep halfway through the movie. Are you okay to drive home? 
Yeah, oh god, what, what, what time is it? Almost midnight. Crap, oh no, my dad is gonna kill me. I, I need to text him and tell him I'll be a little late. If I text him, it won't be as bad, and he'll understand, and... I already did. Thank you. <laughs> Do you need my mom to drive you home? No, I'll be fine. I just got a little oh, a wake up call. <laughs> <laughs> Your hair's a mess. Stop, I know. It gets super frizzy when I lay on it. Don't apologize, it's cute. <laughs> Dork. Shut up. Never. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna head on home. Thanks for waking me up, and I'll see you tomorrow at school. <laughs> Bye, dork. <sighs> God, my hair. There's so many tangles in it. It's fine. I'll brush it when I get home. I can't believe this place is still open. <sighs> uh, see you tomorrow, possibly. Um... Miss Levi, Mrs. Levi, my bad. Or uh, did you keep your last name? I don't know. Mrs. Levi is what I'm calling you for now. Or Mr. Oki. Thank you so much for letting me stay for a while. And I got dropped off. Crap. I thought something seemed off when he asked if I could drive home when I didn't drive myself here. My dad dropped me off. And my dad also told me to just text him when I needed to be picked up. Which means he's... Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta run home. Okay. Oh god, I'm gonna be soaked. It's fine. It's only a matter or anything. The forecast said today would be all sunny all day. But we have to, we've had two scattered rain showers. God, now it's starting to thunder. Okay. Whew. Wait a second. I think everyone's asleep. Yes! Score. Okay. I'm just gonna... Uh, I'm just gonna grab a soda. And, um, we have some leftover... Uh, I'm just gonna grab an egg roll. This is leftover from food yesterday. But I'm gonna heat that up. Um... Drink some of this. Whew! So good. This is all done. I'm gonna eat this upstairs. And get ready for bed. Oh, probably should take a shower. I'll wait a little while. Hello, Kamaji. <laughs> nice to see you too. <sighs> I don't know if I'm falling for him or just really, really want to be his best friend. Probably both. Ugh. Kamaji, why are you splashing in your water bowl? You do this all the time. You've been doing this since I got you. I should have named you like Katara or something. A little waterbender. Okay. Oh. Oh. Time to play some video games. Charlie, I didn't know you had any classes in this hall. Angel, c can we talk? Of course, what's up? I have feelings for someone, and I don't know what to do about it. You have a crush on Joy. Shh! How'd you know? Just a hunch. <laughs> well, I held her hand while we were hanging out by the lake the other day. And well, she held my hand back. Oh, that's so sweet. She definitely likes you back then. But I want to be completely sure before I say anything. Understandable. Do you want me to talk to her? No, no. Well, maybe. How about this? I'll kind of like bring up the subject of crushes and see if she talks about it by herself. Can you do that for me? Of course. What else are friends for? 
Thanks, Angel. See you around. See ya. <sighs> that boy, he really needs to get his emotions together. If he really wanted to be in a relationship with her, he could so easily ask her out. I get that he's really nervous, though. I'm pretty sure this would be his first relationship. I mean, I'm one to talk. I have a crush on a guy that doesn't even know I uh, like him more than a friend. And we've been friends for a while now. And he, th I thought he confessed his feelings for me. Turns out, no. He is just singing a song. Ugh. Why do, why does high school have to be so complicated? Why can't it all just be fun and every now and then you get a little project in school and then you don't have to worry about all these relationship gooey gooey moments. But on the other hand, it's kind of exhilarating. It's a weird combination of emotions. Let's see, is the car here? Okay, that means dad is probably outside. Um, I'm gonna head on upstairs. Dean said he was gonna come over and we were gonna hang out on the roof. After school, so I'll wait for him to come. He's probably getting out of his class. My class got let out early. <sighs> this beautiful view. But I'd come out on top. Definitely, Edwin. <laughs> Cocky, aren't you? <laughs> so, uh, what's up with Charlie? What do you mean? I saw you guys talking and he mentioned having a crush. Oh, he just has a crush on j just someone you don't know. <laughs> oh, really? You're a bad liar, you know. Oh, shush. Promise me you won't say that I said a word. Pinky promise. <laughs> you better. <laughs> you excited for the volleyball game against Diamond High Huskies? Uh, excited is one word. Scared out of my mind is another. Um, I hear they have really good people on their team, and I don't want to let my family down. I bet you'll do great. Thanks. <sighs> Cutie. <laughs> Dork. Wouldn't it be so adorable if they ended up together one day? <laughs> what the... Wait... How long have I known Dean? <sighs> Miss McAllister is killing me in her class. Let me know if you need any help, okay? I can help as much as I can with the subject. I get the material, it's just so much work. Ugh. Oh, sorry, it <laughs> seems really dumb that you have to do that much. My science class is actually pretty easy. I have a really good teacher though, so I guess that's one of the reasons. Make sure you're getting enough sleep, okay? Yes, thanks mom. <laughs> hey, look, we've both established we're both the moms of the group. This makes for a really weird relationship. Who's that behind you? Uh, 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 hi? Excuse me, I'm new. Can you help me find the science room with Mr. Miller? Oh, yeah, I'm actually about to head there. Um, I'll, <laughs> I'll walk you to class. I'll 
to you later, Joy. I'm gonna help this guy find the classroom. See ya. Have fun. Thanks so much. I'm Axel. What's your name, hottie? <laughs> Angel. Angel? That's a beautiful name. Thanks? Question mark? <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and head over there. I'll walk you there. Much appreciated. I'm now in your debt. <laughs> no need. It's just me walking you to class. Follow me. Okay, uh, here we are, Mr. Miller's classroom. Thanks so much. We knew someone could be so ravishing and intelligent. <laughs> Thank you. I have this class next period, and this was the one classroom I didn't know where it was. Thanks for your help, Angel. He winks. No problem, Axel. <sighs> I don't know about that guy. It gives me very conflicting feelings. <laughs> Okay, finished that class. Now on to my next. For some reason, I couldn't get the whole Charlie liking Joy thing and them not knowing if they like each other or if the other likes the other, when in reality they both like each other. It's pretty obvious. I kind of want to do something about it, besides just ask Joy about crushes. Hmm. But I'm gonna need someone's help for my plan. The perfect candidate. Hey, Dean! Yes? <laughs> I need your help with something. Remember the whole Charlie liking someone thing we talked about yesterday? Okay, I'm in. Let's do it. You haven't even heard what the plan is. What's the plan? Come on, I'll tell you about it outside. We can't risk anyone overhearing. Something that matters. 
What's going on? Joy? This is only if you want it to happen. But I set up a date for you and Charlie. <laughs> Angel? Dean? Are you sure about this? Positive. If she likes you, she'll say yes. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. So, Joy, don't feel pressure to say anything. It won't ruin a friendship. And I'll clean up and clean up all of this and act like it never even happened if you don't want it to. But, do you want to... What's this? Do you want to go on a little date with Charlie? I'd love to. Awesome. Enjoy yourselves. Let's go, Dean. Anyways, while completing the assignment, I want you to be honest with yourself. Will this assignment help you with future careers? Have a nice day, students. Uh, hey, Uncle Lucas, uh, can I ask you something really quick? Y yeah, what's up? Well, I have an assignment in another class as well about future careers, and it's my literature class. They ask about what you want to do when you get older, and why. And to be completely honest, I think I want to be a teacher. One, because I love kids and I would love to be an elementary school teacher, but another because I want to be as good of a teacher as you. Well, I'm flattered. Why do you need help then? I want, I wanted to ask you as my sources, what do you believe makes a good teacher? Just remember what it feels like to be a student. And that everyone is human. Encourage people to do what they love. That's what makes a good educator. Thank you. I'll use that. Have a good day, Angel. And good luck. Thanks, Uncle Lucas. That was really good advice. I've been thinking a lot recently, and my mom's an author, and I thought about being that as well, but... I realized that I want to work with kids. I want to help them be able to do what they want to do when they get older. Without feeling pressured by anyone else to do something sensible or reasonable. They should be able to do what they love without feeling the fear of failing. And that's what I want to do. I want to educate kids to let them know that they're smart enough to do anything they put their mind to. Whether that's acting or being a scientist. I want to be as good of a teacher as Uncle Lucas. He encourages his students to do what they love. And he treats them with respect rather than treating them like he's better than them just because he has a college degree. Anyways, um, I need to get to class. Hey, Dean. Psst. You were asking about how the whole Charlie and, um, Joy stuff went. Apparently it went really well. I was talking to Joy this morning about it. Really? I'm so glad. I know, right? Mr. Levi, Miss Atwood, is there something you'd like to share with the class? Uh, no, Miss Phillips. I'm so sorry. Um, it was kind of an emergency thing we had to talk about. We won't talk again. I promise. Thank you. As I was saying, this exam is 25% of your grade, so do well or else. Good example of not a good teacher. I'm super stressed over this exam. You're gonna do great, Dean. Don't worry about it. You get good grades, you're gonna get a good grade on the exam. Don't worry. Yeah. Can we get together and study tonight? My place? Of course, Dean. I need to study just as much as you do. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Angel. No problem. Uh, Axel? 
Excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt anything. Angel, my lovely, may we speak for a moment? Uh, sure. Uh, I'll talk to you in a little bit, Dean. Uh, okay. See you around. What do you want, Axel? Why so feisty? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to sound, um, quick or <laughs> feisty. I'm just kind of in a rush. Um, what's up? I see. So you don't have time for me? What? Darling, you make time for me. Please? You're so sweet to everyone, I just want attention too. There's the bell. I need to get the class. Okay, you can go. I guess I allow it. What the heck was that? Let's see, little buddy. Do you need to be watered? I can't see. Here's tap the soil. Okay, the soil's fine. It's still a little damp. How about you? Um, oh, I can sit on my chair for this one. Um, okay, you're fine too. Uh, I love the weather outside. Fall has to be one of my favorite seasons. The leaves changing colors to be my favorite colors, and the weather getting a little cooler, and Halloween. <laughs> Wait. What's today? <gasps> September 13th. I'm late for spooky season! September 1st is when spooky season starts. Oh, how ridiculous of me. The house should be already de decorated. Oh, I am a disgrace to humankind. Let's see, okay, we got these. And then, yes, okay, they're in here. Got stuff for my room, and we have stuff for outside. Let's get all the stuff for outside ready. Put that there, put that there, and then we're gonna need a ladder. Uh, Cause I'm not tall enough to reach a lot of the things. Um, okay. Um, let's get a free hand for now. Actually, no, we're good. Um, I don't. Oh, my mom went to the store, and Dad's at work. So, okay. Uh, does Joy even know that it's spooky season? to tell her. And you tell her now. Well, I'm gonna put this because I want to put stuff there. Um, and then I'm also going to want to put... Can I climb up here? This is not safe. I do not recommend doing this. Okay, and then I can get over there. Okay. Perfect. We'll put some up here. We'll put some over there. And then we'll put a bunch of our random stuff. Um, the gates open. Um, hello? Joy! Do you know what today is? What's up? Answer my question. Do you know what today is? Sunday? Why? No, silly. I mean, today's date. September 13th? You know what September 13th is, though? Fall starting? No, silly. It's spooky season! <laughs> I forgot how excited you get over Halloween. It's like one of the best holidays ever. Sure, I'm not the biggest fan of horror, but I love creepy themes and I love stereotypical, like cutesy little, like Halloween, like pumpkins and ghosties and witches and all that stuff. Well, I'm on a mission. You continue watering your plants. Sorry that I bothered you, I guess, but I thought it was very important you know that there is a amazing holiday coming up. Sorry that I bothered you, I guess. Okay, let's see. Um, for the training dummy, um, it was just like a scarecrow. Uh, we can put it in here. Actually, no, we're gonna keep that normal. Put that there, and then we can put that there, and then for the hanging lights. 
will put some here. Oh, no, that's not where I meant to put them. Here to here. And we'll make these pumpkin lights. Pumpkin lights. Pumpkin lights. Why aren't they pumpkin lights? Hello? Pumpkin lights? Thank you. What a disgrace. Pumpkin lights. <gasps> they are so cute, I love them so much. Okay, let's do the next floor. We'll do pumpkin lights for the front. Why can't I? <laughs> oh, there we go. One, let me jump. Uh, and then we'll, okay. Um, this is very high up. I swear if my clumsiness is my fault, I will die. Okay. And then let's see what that looks like. Ow, stomach toe. It's beautiful, beautiful. Um, I feel like there needs to be something right here. We'll do ghosty lights for that. Ghosty lights, ghosty lights. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there we are. Ghosty lights. Ghosty lights. Okay, I can't connect them where I want to. So what we might do instead is... Hmm. Maybe like that and then that? But it's in the... It doesn't set up correctly. Okay, let's see. Um... We could put it from there to there, and then there to there. That's not even. I need a step ladder. It's too hard of a reach. Give me a step ladder. Thank you. Let's go over here, and boom. And then up here, and we'll go from underneath to underneath. Not, it doesn't do it the way I want it to. And that is too close to the window. Fine, we'll do these right here. It's right there. Very nice, okay. Take that down. And now it's time to decorate my room. My room is the most important part because that is what I see the most. And that needs to be decked out with Halloween. Kamaji, are you excited for Halloween? No, you're eating, you're eating dirt. That's not good for you. Don't do that, please. We're gonna replace my normal fairy lights with Halloween fairy lights. It's gonna be so beautiful. Put that there. And then we'll put this one here. And then, where was another fairy light? I think that was it. I, oh, there might have been one here and this one might have been just there. Eh, that's fine though. Um, ooh, I can eat as much candy as I want all the time. And I can just sign it off as, it's Halloween, silly. Why can't I eat candy? Okay, for the witch hat, we'll have little fairy lights right above my desk. Wait, I need to change them first, I forgot. I thought I could just Put them on when they're already up there. And I get that I don't have to use two, but I'd rather have an extra. Oh my god, this is so cute! Look at the little witch hat! Oh my god, I love Halloween so much! <laughs> okay, what else do I have? Oh, yes, okay. I have a hanging ghost, and then I have a spider candle. I don't have enough room for everything I want to put up. Um, ooh, and I can put really good smelling candles in the spider candle holder. Okay, I'm sorry, little plant, but you're gonna have to move. I will move you elsewhere. Oh, it's so cute! You know I hate spiders! It's a little pumpkin spider candle! Okay, and then can I put this here? Not that, not you. This here. Oh, oh it's so adorable. Here, wait, no, I wanna put it, I wanna put it, I wanna put it. Oh. Are you scared of the ghost Kamaji? Oh, don't be scared. <laughs> don't be scared of the ghost. The ghost doesn't hurt anyone. You wouldn't hurt a fly. Okay, you scoot over, Kamaji. I'm gonna put the plant right here. 
Here we go. Oh my gosh, I love Halloween so much. Oh, now my room looks so Halloween-y. Halloween? <laughs> Halloween-y. Okay, let's see. This is what it looks like from the outside. Nice, nice. I actually kind of want to put this up. I think we have a better scarecrow upstairs. And I'll put that one up sometime soon. But this one, it's not, it's not cutting it, not cutting it, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Okay, let's put the rest of the decorations up. <sighs> oh my god, I'm so excited. <gasps> oh my goodness, I just realized I need to whip out the Halloween PJs. It's time to whip out the Halloween PJs. Are you excited, Kamaji? We're gonna whip out the Halloween PJs, we're gonna watch some Coraline and some Hocus Pocus, and we're gonna live our best life and eat candy. Are you ready, Kamaji? I'm ready. Oh god, I'm running late. Okay, uh, Kamaji. You continue being weird. Um, uh, bye mom, bye dad, I'll see you later. Oh god, I don't wanna be late. Oh, my alarm never went off this morning. So now I am running behind for school. It's fine, it's not like it matters or anything. It's not like I hate being late with a burning passion or anything. It's not like the bell is going to ring in five minutes or anything. And before I get to class, I need to pick up stuff from my locker. If I don't, then I, oh, you know what, fine, stay up there. If I don't, then I won't have all my books because I left them in my locker yesterday accidentally. Okay, I just need to go straight up, excuse me. I just need to go straight up, straight to my locker. Oh, okay, breathe, we're good. Whew. Okay. Axel, can you move, please? Good morning, beautiful. Axel, I slept in. I need to get to my locker. Good morning, Axel. <laughs> Say, please. Please move out of my way so I can get to my locker and get my books. Feisty again. I need to get my books. I was running behind. Please, I don't see why this is such a big deal. Kiss me, and maybe I will. <laughs> Axel! Uh, Dean! Angel, you okay? I'm, 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 I'm fine. What did he do? Nothing. I suggest you do the same. Hey, Dean. Talk to me about what happened earlier, please. Nothing happened. I'm fine. I just want to know you're okay. He just... Axel keeps messing with me. <laughs> messing with you? Yeah, it's... It, I shouldn't be taking it as such a big deal, but it's just it's making me feel uncomfortable. Did you tell him that? No, I'll tell him if he does it again. Do you want me to tell him? I don't feel like you have to do that, Dean. The last thing I want is a fight, and I, I don't. What's wrong? I don't. I don't know. All it is just. It makes me feel so vulnerable, and I hate it so much. Come here. <laughs> he won't come near you again. <laughs> Thank you, Dean. Don't make a scene out of it, please, though. 
He might not even know that what he's doing is making me feel this way. I hope he doesn't know. Mom, I'm home. Hey. Hey, sweetie. How was your day? Fine. It was... It was good. I can tell when you're lying. If you don't want to tell me, it's okay, but remember I'm here for you. I know, Mom. This guy's just being annoying at school. Annoying? care to elaborate? He's pushy. Pushy. Okay. I think I understand. Have I ever told you about a guy that I went to high school with named Jason? I don't think so. Well, he was a pig. Everyone agreed with me. But he... He got held back two years and would still hit on freshmen. He would go around hitting on everyone and trying to find the first girl to let him shove his tongue down her throat. Yuck. Well, when Dean's mom transferred to my school, Jason swooped in pretty quick. On top of that, Ms. Roki was the youngest freshman at the school. She was only 13. But Jason invited her out with a couple of friends, flirted with her, and made her feel like she had no way out. He ended up putting a piece of jewelry in her bag to get her in trouble for shoplifting. She could have gotten in serious trouble, but thankfully, I recorded his confession, aka him bragging to his friends about what he did. Does the annoying guy give off those vibes? Maybe a little, but it's far more possessive. Possessive. Angel, this is a story I didn't think I'd tell you. But there once was this girl I knew named Ashley. She had a massive crush on your father and did everything in her power to ruin my life. Her motto was if she can't have him, no one can. So when all else failed, when her thirsty pleads for attention didn't work, she burnt down the place I worked at and framed me for it. Thankfully, we were able to direct the blame back to her Still to this day, I'm worried she'll return. I don't know how long she was in prison for, but I don't think she's moved on. And that she might want to someday return and take what she sees as hers. Now, does that sound like him? Scarily enough, yeah. Try to stay away from him, and try to keep Dean out of it. I know you two aren't dating, yet at least, but he won't see that. Yeah. Oh, God. I'll be right back. I need to go tell Dean. I won't tell him everything, but I'll tell him what he needs to know. Oh, God. 